comfortably, either in a cushion, a couch, uh, you can be seated like I am back nice and long or even against a wall. And just rest the hands over the legs and palms up or you can lie back into Shavasana which is just lengthening out the body and softening down through your hips. Whatever you feel is comfortable. I'll do it sitting up today. We're just going to bring awareness to breath. I'm just here for a couple of minutes. Take your inhale through your nose, soften the eyes, exhale out through your mouth to release any tension into the jaw, into the lips, teeth. So we want to clear any piercing in the lips, soften out through all facial features, smooth over out through the skin, and just relax. Full awareness to breath. Feel the connection into the energy. See if you can count four long deep counts. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two. Three, four. Inhale, two. Three, four. Exhale, two. Three, four. Inhale, two. Three, four. Exhale, two. Keep breathing and just find the length of your breath. Okay, opening up the eyes. Just a five minute neck, shoulder, back, back opener. We're going to stay with the legs bent if we can. If you can, widen the knees and take one leg in front of the other instead of crossing over the legs. If that's not comfortable, just cross over the legs. We're just going to take the arms up, nice big inhale. Take your gaze up and exhale the hands down beside you. Take an inhale, lift up. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, over. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Just allow yourself to feel a deep stretch into the neck here. Pull the shoulders up and back, drawing the shoulder blades down. And press up, inhale, and exhale the hands back beside you. See if you can open up the back body by pressing into the palms and then open, press the heart space and take the head back. Move in a rock from side to side. Then allow yourself to come all the way forward. So I'm just changing myself around here so that you can see what I'm doing. Bring yourself forward. Now remember, you're not forcing yourself down. Just allow yourself to come as far as you can. You might like to draw your chin down to chest and peel yourself forward as far as you can. And then we'll slowly start to wheel all the way back up. We're just going to repeat this on the other side. So cross the leg over the opposite way. Kind of 
over to this side first. Nice big inhale, exhale, soften. Notice how the hips feel, inhale up, and exhale, soften. Inhale in. Big inhale, and exhale those hands straight back down to centre. Inhale back up, and exhale the hands to the side. Again, take those hands behind you, open up the heart space, take your gaze back, if you're okay to open up the chest, and then bring yourself forward. Take a stretch and see how you feel. Just balancing out the hips and just remembering to take that chin back toward the chest as you peel yourself back out. This time to Dasan, so we'll take the legs out nice and long in front of us. Bring your toes up so we've got an internal rotation. We don't want external, we want internal. And then lift the arms up, big inhale. Exhale the hands back down in front of you. Using inhale, prepare. Interlace the fingers, exhale, press out in front of you so you start to really round out the back body. Take an inhale all the way up and exhale the hands back down and again feel free to open the shoulders and take the head back. This time rolling into the fingers, press yourself forward and start to bring yourself over as far as you can. Still lifting the toes, don't let them splay out if you can help it and come down as far as you can. You might even like to draw your chin down towards your chest and peel out to move through the back body instead of the hamstrings. If you leave with your heart, you're going to the hamstrings. So draw yourself back a bit and chin to chest to get that big stretch into your spine. One last time, let's draw our feet up. We want our knees and our feet aligned and then the knees and hips aligned. So even if you're in front of a mirror or if you can see your feet just double check that they're not out like this they're not in like this but they're directly in line okay long back lift up hug that belly support through belly inhale lift exhale back down to center interlace the fingers prepare inhale exhale press the palms away roll yourself forward so the scapula opens moving through the psoriasis also Nice big inhale, lift, and exhale the hands beside you or behind you, and take a stretch back. So behind you, take the stretch back. Little rock, I like the rocks. And bring yourself forward, give your legs a little bit of a hug. Let your head fall down, and take a little bit of three, three. Come back. Soften out the legs once again, one last time. Inhale, lift and over. And come back. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Coming to all fours, we're going to finish up here. And take a couple of little circles around one way, circles back the other way. Move into cat cow, twist your way through spine. Inhale, lift. And exhale, compress down. Inhale. And exhale, compress back. So the belly draws through the spine here. You want the hands underneath the shoulders, knees under hips. Chin to chest, really round out. Big proud cat. Next time you leave with your sternum, your heart, and your gaze comes up. Belly comes down, but still keeping contact. So you're still hugging that belly through the spine. Bottom toward the ceiling, neutral spine, and stretch back. Alright, time to spend a little workout there. Take the stretches and do them, you'll feel a lot better. Namaste.